Hey, this is Raya, and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. I first heard of you with a collaboration you did with my boys in Brooklyn. Wow. Um, and I'm actually kind of curious because you actually went by your real name instead of your artist mm -hmm. name. So what was the idea behind that? Um, at that time, I wasn't really doing a whole lot of music stuff. So I did music under my original, like my actual name, my birth name, <laughs> my original <laughs> name, my birth name. Um, and so that was kind of just like a period where I was in limbo. So I was just doing stuff because right. I've known them forever um, since I was like in since the I Alaska days. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. I that was like All my right. first show ever. Wow. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's so you are you an OC kid? Are you a local? I grew up in Whittier, so it's like kind of in between. There, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't call it like OC. borderline OC, borderline LA. I still claim LA as my <laughs> home. But yeah. That's awesome. Well, that was my first time hearing your voice. And you know, from the get go, your voice is basically every producer, every EDM artist's dream feature <laughs> so um how did you go about finding your sound finding you know the tone because i know anybody can sing but knowing what you want to sing and how you want to sing and how you want to write like how what was that process like for you um growing up i listened to a lot of bjork so i know that when you're a kid what you listen to is a lot of what you become right. and so for me it was very strange and weird and it kind of just morphed over time and um, I started out doing country music and then I've pretty much done every kind of music huh. so over the course of my life <laughs> I've experimented in everything and um, at this point it just kind of a culmination of all of those and deciding what I loved the most and what I wanted to write forever so was there a specific lyric a specific song that you wrote that you know made you realize this is this is the sound you wanted I don't think so. I don't know if there was a moment. I think it was just like kind of picking up different genres along the way and styles and then and then growing up. I feel like that's a big part of it. Right. Just growing up and a lot of that was when I was really young and still not sure of who I was in general <laughs> and not even just in music but in life. And so right. when you grow up and learn who you are and what you love and what you want to actually build a foundation doing, you just kind of it all comes together. Right. Yeah. Now going back to this collaboration with Brooklyn, that was the first time that you collaborated with anybody. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What was that experience like for you and, and how did you know what did you take out of that because those guys you know not necessarily with Brooklyn alone but they've been in the music industry for a while yeah. so what did you take out of that like opportunity I love them they for me like created this you could be honest with me you could no I really do they're like my brothers I love them so much and they created a path for me for sure to like be able to love collaboration mm -hmm. and so for me like going into that room was so scary because they're not like they're like kind of intimidating guys right. <laughs> they're super bit, cool yeah. and um, the hair, everything. I know the hair. The hair <laughs> is really intimidating. Um, but to go in and like have such a free space to be able to write a song and, and create with them, it really like opened up the door for me to want to do that with other people. And so I think you really find like who you are, especially when you're writing with other people and you're in someone else's turf, right. like writing for someone else. And so that for me was just like a huge stepping stone just to learn what I love to do and writing songs. Mm -hmm. Right. And moving forward, there's four singles that you've released so far, mm -hmm. Prom being the, the most recent one. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about your writing process. Um, how did you go about creating the songs that you did and were there specific producers that you worked with with these tracks? Yeah, there's a guy in Norman, Oklahoma, which you probably have never so heard of. So random. I'd never heard of. I don't even know where it is. Um, is this like a Craigslist post? Like <laughs> no, I know him through some people, and so I've been writing with him. All four of those songs I've done with him and just like flown out there. And um, it's been a really interesting process. He's like a wizard with beats and, and sounds, and so he's just kind of, he creates like music, yeah. and then I write along while he's programming everything okay. and doing stuff. So it, it takes like no time at all, and it's super fun and creative. And just to have someone that doesn't have your instincts that can create a whole different world than you would ever create yourself. Right. And so I think that's, just, I mean, for me, I've loved working with him and I'm, I'm still doing that with him and haven't really ventured out of that yet, but nice. yeah. Now you did say he writes the music. So I know you're a guitar player. Um, so do you, do you do a lot of, do you do a lot of music on your own where you start the music and then go to him or do you just start everything with him? I've tried to do like stuff on Logic and GarageBand on my phone, like when I'm on planes or stuff or something. Yeah. But I'm so bad at it. And guitar, I'm I can do some things, but it's so I feel like it's always the same. Right. And so to have someone mm -hmm. that can like get you out of your normal habits for me has been like huge. Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to learn how to do stuff on my computer, but I'm still really bad. at <laughs> Are you being shy still? Is that what it is? No, it's bad. It's like really bad. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> All right. So as you as you go out and perform today, you're you're opening up for coin uh, you've had a couple other performances um how do, how has each performance that you've done how has it like evolved for you or how do you feel you've evolved in your live show 
Well, today is a great milestone for me because I don't want to throw up and die if I'm because I'm performing tonight. So every time it's been like so nervous and um, so stressful in like a great way, just because I'm it's so new to me. Right. Um, so every every performance up until now has been well, they've all been headlining, so it's like a little more pressure. Right. But to be able to come and like support a band that I absolutely love, and it just like it's just so exciting to me to know that like I have a short set at the beginning, <laughs> and that it's going to be the best night ever. And um, I just feel like I'm I'm starting to enjoy it every time a little bit more, and right. like actually just love being on stage and love singing my songs. So I'm growing. <laughs> <laughs> now I know you've you've kind of been around. You've kind of been around a few big shows with with Jake and Laney, mm -hmm. um, and you know, being that they're a machine within the last couple of years, they became the machine that they are today. What have you learned from being at those major shows that they've they've been putting on? Yeah, I mean, something special about them is that they're just really hard workers, and mm -hmm. so everything that they've built is because of um, a lot of hours. And I know that because I'm <laughs> I'm part of that, and I I <laughs> feel that a lot from Jake, and so. Um, it's just amazing to see what you can build when you're when you really just go after it. Right. It's it's amazing because they haven't been handed anything. Um, they've built everything and they're building an empire, and so it's just really cool to be able to to be part of that and watch how they've grown so much and how they continue to grow. Right. Is there anything that you picked up maybe from the live show or, or the way they do things live or the way that they talk to their audience? Is there something that you picked up like that that you might want to incorporate? Yeah, I mean, the the one thing that I admire the most about all of them is that they're so unashamed in who they are. And so, like, they're quirky and they're weird and they're fun and they don't hold anything back to be, like, cool right. or, like, this persona. They just are exactly who they are. And I think that's kind of a lost art when it comes to music is being exactly who you are. And so, for me, that's, like, what I'm, what I'm learning and what I'm growing in. <laughs> now, Prom was recently dropped this year. Uh, what else can we expect for the remainder of the year? Maybe an EP? Maybe an album? What's in the works? Um, I have a music video coming out this yes. month, okay. and so that first will be time? first music video. Right. So that's what's coming up, and hopefully some more music and stuff like that. Okay. But that's like the first, that's an official the thing that's happening. Deal. <laughs> yeah. Now for those that haven't heard of your music or your sound before, what makes you so different from any other artist out there? Wow, that's a serious question. I'm trying, you know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to dig deeper into this one. Yeah, um, I think for me, the, the thing that I love about my music is that it's just kind of, it's just fun. Mm -hmm. And especially when I play live, it just has this like funk aspect to it that I love and that I'm trying to hold on to really dear. Um, so it's not just like a normal like program pop situation. Um, yeah. It's incorporating so many things that I love from the past. And so I think that's what that makes me different. Awesome. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. Thank New you. single's out now. It's called Prom. You should check her out. Socials are. Raya, it's Raya the girl, at Raya the girl. <laughs> we just Raya, R-I-A-H. Yes, like Mariah. Like Mariah without the ma. <laughs> Thanks for watching here on Front Row Live, guys.